And all I had to do was rock and pray and rock and pray. And, I, and then God showed me this book that Sherry gave me from Ray Hughes. And it said, sympathy, 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 how do you say that word? On earth. On earth. And I, I was like, okay, Lord, what are you saying? And I had a vision of all these musicians playing in one accord um, on earth, coming from this revival. God was going to move so strong for this revival. And they were coming in one accord. God was going to breathe so mightily out of this place. And I couldn't sleep. And I was like, i got to call Joe. I called Joe, and I'm like, Joe, I text Joe, and I was like, Joe, I read this about the, uh, the trumpet. God is blowing the trumpet, he's sending a sound to earth through this revival. And then uh, Joe chimed in, can you tell what you told me, Joe, last night, about the um, about where you was at real quick? What happened to you? I'm blowing, I'm breaking the sound. We had a 21-day fast, five prayer uh, in, in Evansville. We all came together in a solid assembly, and um, they, uh, we all started crying out uh, for the Spirit to come, like you know, like it would today, similar to Pentecost and similar to Acts 2:38 and, and, and the Book of Joel. And it was like, "Hobby, oh, you got to show far to lead us out in one, oh, one book, you know." And I did, and then I, I had remembered, "Oh God, I had this dream, and I come in the house, and there's this really big lion." And this line is so muscular and he is so strong. I go outside and I come back in the house. When I came back in the house, I realized he was so smart. And there was such a home and he was so wise. It's like, that's the line of the tribe of Judah. And he looked at me and he's like, come closer. And I'm like, oh, God. would you look me in my eyes? Would you look me in, I am fearsome, but I want you to come closer. You need to come closer to me to survive what's coming on the earth. You need to know me so that others around you will walk into this and they will know that the presence of the Lord is there and it is not either for them to come in or maybe they're not going to come in, but they're not going to come against you because the Spirit of the Lord is here. And He's like, I love you. Come closer to me. And when I said that, it's like, oh, something just, something just oh, said over me. And then everybody started, and I was brought, I don't know if they I think I was the only one that didn't pray over and I'm going for it. What happened? Oh, God, you just touched me for like an hour and a half straight. It was just burning in my belly. And then somebody came up and told me after that was over, he said, I came up behind you to pray, but I wouldn't touch you because there was an angel about this tall standing behind him when he had his, aunt, his wings wrapped right around him. And every time he blew the shofar, he put his shofar and used it. And just started blowing the shofar with me. And I was like, oh, God, that's what it is. And I woke up this morning, I'm going, Lord, I'm still under this. I went to two services yesterday, and it happened at those two services again in, in, in Hobstock and in Mount Carmel. Boom, boom, again. And then I woke up this morning, and I had a dream about holy, about how holy God is. And the Lord's like, oh, God, you're holy. And you're coming, and you're really and like, oh, Lord, oh, God, what does that mean, Lord? How are you holy? Oh, do we really define what holy is? No. How do we define God? You know, we can't really define it. We can say, this is not my part. I see of God, you know. And and then I'm like, oh, Lord, this is how you're coming. This is how you're showing up. And then when I woke up, I realized that's how he's coming. And it's going to start pressing into us. As he comes and shows up, how holy he is, he like opens his vestments and says, would you gaze at me? Would you see me? Would you come closer to me? For I want you to know me this way. This is how I created Adam. And he came and saw my fullness. So have I not brought you back to a place where you can experience me this way? I believe that answer is yes. I believe that answer is yes. And I felt that in Evansville today. And all day I'm like, I gotta come tonight, I gotta come tonight, I gotta come tonight, I gotta come tonight. And I come tonight and I look at this rock and I'm like, Lord, that sure looks like a big spear. That sure looks like a big spearhead. I'm looking at that going, wow. Amen. 